Hi, everybody. Wow, Ted. I'm sorry, but this is awesome. <laughs> I, I lead a, um, a wonderfully schizophrenic life. I do lots of different things in artistry, and, and I have a lot of roles that I play. Last night, uh, as an example, I played um, minimalist rock at the Crate Place to a packed house. Really awesome show. And then suddenly here to do live looping. It's like, whoa, whoa, good morning. So last night, uh, a musician who I really respect a lot came up to me at the end of the gig and he said, uh, man, you were playing that one song and you were just, just laying down the simplest drum beat. And he said, it was so cool because you never varied off it the whole time. He goes, it was like a drum machine, but it, it was human. <laughs> and it got me to thinking, it got me to thinking so much that I threw out the speech I was gonna give today. Uh, and I thought, yeah, that's, that's what I dig. I, I sort of dig that. I've always loved drum machines. I've always loved sequence things and computers and things that were really rigid and alien and then do things that are really human with them. So I think that's what led me to this whole concept of looping. You know, last October, um, I hosted 70 artists from 17 countries from all around the world. And they really had two things in common. One was that they all came on their own dime, which is really remarkable. 29 artists came from 6,000 to 10,000 miles away to play for free on their own dime in Santa Cruz. The second thing they had in common is that they were really in love with this concept of live looping that I'm so in love with. So the mayor declared International Live Looping Day in the city. <laughs> and last year, uh, she came out and gave keys to the city to the, the top headlining artists. We all met online. So for the first time in my life, I started a community of people who I like dearly love, and I met them all online. So Looper's Delight, our Mecca website of this movement, gets a million hits plus a month. So w why? What's, what's, what's this whole thing? What's looping? Why is it such a cool thing? Why would people come so far to do this? Well. I think it has something to do with the fact that we are sort of cyclically rhythmical as human beings. If you think about it, you know, sort of... And we go... Duck, 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 when we walk places, our, our planet revolves every 24 hours. We mark our lives by the cyclical revolutions around our nearest star. So, if you look at all the dance musics of the world, you have parts that are played cyclically. In, in almost all of them, not some, some th th this is not true. So, this is what's really uh, fascinated me for a very long time. And I just thought that I wanted to share with you why I'm so interested in this particular form. Not only that, it's not just an auditory form, but you might also notice some of the stuff going on in back of me. And that is a, a brilliant artist named Tim Thompson who invented a thing called the Loopy Cam. So now they're doing looping videos, and sometime soon we're going to be, uh, we're going to be um, uh, synchronized with each other. This is Tim Thompson. Please give him a, a nice round of applause. So um, the other thing that I do is I'm called a found sound artist, and that is that I can go into a kitchen and get a bunch of stuff. Not, not I can go into a kitchen and get a bunch of stuff. You can go into a kitchen and get a bunch of stuff, and you can make music if you have a microphone and a looping uh, a device. So I just thought it would be kind of fun uh, if you guys would consent to help me with my piece, because I thought the best found sound instrument that we can have is actually the human voice. So we all have that here, right? So are you guys into 
helping out, and we'll just show you a little bit about what this technology does and use you as the guinea pigs. All right, cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this. We're only going to do two simple things. When I hold up one finger, I want you guys to make a shh sound. Okay? Now what happens is you will run out of breath, I promise you. So shush as loud as you can, and then take a gulp of air, and shush as loud as you can. And if everybody does this, the shushing will go on and on. I was going to use hissing sounds, but I, I get really uh, insecure when an audience hisses at me, so <laughs> that's how it goes. All right, so what I'm going to do is, if I hold up one hand, it'll be a shushing sound. If I hold up two fingers, and can you all see that? Two fingers, one finger. First rule of conducting is you've got to be able to communicate. Okay, so... Watch what I do. I'm going to conduct myself. Got it? Okay. Good. The next thing, number two, is I'm going to sing a tone. And when you hear me sing that tone, I'm going to, uh, I just want you to see if you can sing the note with me. All right, let's do that one more time. And when I do this with my hand, cut your note as fast as you can. Ooh. You guys are awesome, you're hired. <laughs> cool. Number one, shushing. time. We didn't get it. One more time. Right up on the mouth. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That's my time. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>